In this video lesson, we will talk about how to graph rational functions. So first, let's remember what rational functions are. Well, really, the most important rational function, and the most simple one, is just y equals 1 over x. But they're all something divided by something with x's. So to learn how to graph rational functions, first we're going to take a look at the graph of y equals 1 over x. This graph, I'll just have the computer make for us. This is what it looks like. So it has these two parts. One of them in the third quadrant is just for negative x, and one of them in the first quadrant for positive x. And there's a few points on it, like if we plug in x equals 1, we get y equals also 1. So that point's on there. But these little details aren't that important. What's really important is where the shape comes from and just the shape in general. And the point is that if you increase x by a lot, you're dividing by a large number because you're, you're, the function is 1 divided by x. And the large number you divide by, the closer you get to 0. So that is why we can see that the function, as x increases, gets really, really close to the x-axis. And also, when x is really small, you're dividing by smaller and smaller numbers, so it's increasing. And that's why it, when x goes close to 0, it has this weird spike. It's called an asymptote. So if you have a related function to y equals 1 over x, that is y equals 1 over x plus 1, what we get is just all the points shifted up 1. So this is what the graph would look like of y equals 1 over x plus 1. So really, we're going to, to construct any other rational function, we're going to use this as a sort of basis and just remember the basic form of what y equals 1 over x looks like. And we're going to shift it around and change it a little bit, but the general shape is the same. And right now we're noticing that still at x equals 0, we have this crazy spike where it goes really high or really low from one side or the other. But instead of getting closer to, to 0 as x increases, we're getting closer to 1. These properties are called asymptotes, by the way. This vertical spike and this horizontal shift that approaches zero, we can draw them like this. And that is what's called an asymptote. And so now we have a different example, y equals 1 over x plus 1. And the asymptote is going to be where x plus 1 equals zero, because the whole point is that dividing by zero is not allowed, and where that happens, you have this crazy sort of really high beginning or really low beginning from the different sides of the asymptote. And here the asymptote is at x equals negative 1. So we've shifted the entire function over by one unit to the left. So really, all you need to graph these rational functions is to have, is to know where the asymptotes are. And there's two asymptotes. There's the vertical one and the horizontal one. So I'll show in this next example how to, how to find them and how to use them to our advantage. So let's take y equals 1 over x minus 2 minus 2. All right, so here's our blank coordinate plane. Now first we're going to look at just the 1 over x minus 2 part. Dividing by 0 is not allowed. So we want to know where x minus 2 equals to 0. This is pretty simply just x equals to 2. This means that the vertical asymptote is at x equals 2. So I'm just going to draw this vertical line here. And we'll figure out how to use it later. So now we need what's called the horizontal asymptote. And the horizontal asymptote is just this constant negative 2 that we have. And here I'm just drawing it. It's horizontal, and it's at 
y equals negative 2. And the graph is simply just these two branches that get really close to the asymptotes but never quite reach them. You just draw them like this. And now, of course, I'm just going to label the graph. So really, all you need is to know where the asymptotes are, and you do that just by looking at the coefficients. And then you can just draw it in. It doesn't have to be perfect, just really close. I hope you found this video lecture helpful. Thank you for watching.